It's getting harder. Ah, it's getting harder in here. I'm <laughs> Such monster rapes are in the ass. What? <laughs> I'll be glad once you actually, when you get the actual electric gloves and you can punch through those fucking things. Why weren't they in Arkham Knight? Yeah, that's a good question. Why weren't they in Arkham Knight? They would have been so useful. This is supposed to take place throughout all, before all the other Arkham games. How come those gloves weren't in Arkham Knight? It may, it'd be too easy. Batman wanted a challenge. Were, were they were they Riot Shield guys in Arkham Knight? Yeah. I'm pretty sure they were, but it's like... Yeah, then we had the Riddler and his freaking ro electric robots and shit. Oh, yeah. Those guys were an ass. Alright, well, I got a question for you. What? what do you think is the most annoying Riddler challengers out of all four of the Arkham games? Let's see. No, that is a tough one. <laughs> They're all annoying. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a Riddler for fuck's sake. He's always annoying. I'm talking about like his challenges, regardless. Like just the facts of just going around and collecting them and everything like that. Me? I honestly don't know. I I I cannot say which one I hate the most. I hate them all equally. Yeah, like Arkham Asylum's Riddler challenges weren't that bad. You're just collecting trophies and doing riddles and everything like that. In Arkham City, you're not only collecting trophies, but you're also doing challenges to collect those trophies and gathering riddles and breaking a lot of shit. Breaking a lot of shit. <laughs> With more breaking. More breaking and more shitting. Hopefully not the two combined, but still. Breaking a shit. <laughs> Breaking lots of shit. It just... Ugh. Here, you're collecting data packs and going to the towers. Alright, right, let's, let's listen to Alfred. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> this better be important. Have you got the achievement where you list to all his pieces of advice? I think so. I haven't. I don't. It's like I don't know what are the right times to come to him. But again, I never really tried to, because like I said, you know, I I say this once again, you know, not counting um, Blackgate, which is something like completely different side story and everything like that. Arkham Origins is my least favorite of all four of them. Yeah, that's definitely uh, my least favorite. There's really no progression with this game. It's just here, just so we can get prepared for Rock City making Arkham Knight. Which, of course, already at the time of this recording, it's been out for at least about a good six months. And beaten it, raped it, called it a Uber. And we'll get to the game eventually. You just gotta do all the rest of the stuff that we missed with City in this game, too. And now, fly like an eagle. You're dropping like an eagle. I'm dropping like a rock. Get it right, dick. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! If you could glide like this, would you? I would love to have a super. I would be scared glove. shitless. <laughs> I, I mean, if I were doing this right now, you'd actually see shit falling from the skies and landing on people. <laughs> I'd be so scared. So it'd be like the bat from Conquer. Shit yes. Shit on people. <laughs> yes. And my shits kill people. And it knocks them out before you put them into the grinder. I didn't even notice that thing was there. I see everything. I'm pretty sure I there's somebody Batman. out there. Pretty sure there's somebody out there who has all those relay stuff committed to memory. But honestly, I just don't care enough to really commit that shit. I am Batman, God of Knowledge, and a wrecker of your shit. <gasps> Another one. Is this the part where you go to the police station? I think so. 
because I know, like, after you do the whole, the longest case file, you need to go to the police station for some archive footage, and, or not archive footage, but more files. And, no, I was kind of hoping to play more Barbara Gordon in Arkham Knight, but we'll, we'll get to that later. Anyway. No, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about, but yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. When, we'll, we'll cross that river when it comes, you know? Or when we actually record that river, you know? <laughs> I'm standing right in front of him, and he doesn't see me. <laughs> yeah, these guys are almost as bad as the, you know, as the genome soldiers in Metal Gear. <laughs> I'm just, like, slowly following, going, I'm gonna rape you. Seriously, if Batman just sneezed behind him, he probably wouldn't notice. He'd probably turn around and say, Gazoo tight, and just keep walking. <laughs> well, of course. After all, I'm Batman. Shh! A surprise. It's rape. So you want to justify as these are the corrupt cops, so they kind of get what they're coming. Uh, yay and nay. Yay and nay. Yeah, they're they're a bit of both. Yeah. Guys following orders and also the corrupt assholes. Mm-hmm. And watch this. Yeah, you literally led flew... right in front of the guy. No, you freaking flew right by the other guy and he... landed in front of another one. You are as big as a fucking six foot man and he still couldn't see you i'm six foot three 700 pounds and i still couldn't be seen what the hell <laughs> hey, dear god worst pd ever <laughs> oh did you know uh bane actually dressed up as batman once yeah i actually remember that uh the the forever evil the yeah I remember that arc. Yeah, that, that, that was interesting. I actually just... I recently read that. I did not know about that because I didn't really care. It's a nice arc. I like it. You know, for all the shit that I DC like puts this. out, there's just one or two good arcs every once in a while. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I forget. <laughs> And this, is my st and this is my stuff. Thanks, guys. I swear, out of all the places in this game that are the glitchiest, I think the police department is still the glitchiest place in the entire world. I've never had that such a problem. Well, I thought one time you were in here and... No, that was with uh, Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze? Yeah. So, the DLC? I think so, yeah. No, I'm thinking of the... Or you think of Arkham, Arkham City, City again. Yeah. yeah, I'm talking about Arkham Origins. Like Arkham Origins here, like I swear, most of my glitchiest problems happens here in the police department. I have never had that issue with that place, as far as I can recall. I remember one time I was fighting a bunch of the goons that were, uh, I think, because you'll get to this one point where you're gonna see these bunch of police uh, men, I I don't know, harassing these homeless guys or criminals. I have no idea. And then I beat the shit out of them. Yeah, you beat the shit out of them and whatnot, and one of the rag dolls of them literally launched into one of the windows, and their head was gone. I still have <laughs> that picture to this very day when I played it, back in, like, God, like, end of 2013. I mean, like, holy shit. <laughs> uh, what can I say? I wanted him dead. It's a, it's, a, it's a very humorous picture that I'm glad to still have, but... I swear, it's like there's a lot of glitches that happen a lot like, in the police. Department. No one would have heard that. That big old Shung Kong. And it's, and it's over. Only, he's the only guy in the room. Yeah, but you just came out of the air duct. Those shit echo, man. Hey there, might have I join you? <laughs> oh, who's playing tonight? My fist, your face. I love that place, team. Roundhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Roundhouse. <laughs> yeah, like Gotham Police Department is very vent heavy in this area. Because you gotta have a vent heavy area somewhere. No, I understand vents, but I'm pretty sure they don't need to be this freaking large. And they are large enough, just for enough for Batman's convenience. It's just like the convenience of having those gargoyle statues in Arkham Asylum. <laughs> but no, look, look, look at this. Look at this. 
That should sort of drop debris and everything. I don't care. Just the noise of the cable launching itself, like that, should have caused some noise. I could have easily walked past this guy. Here, let me help you with that. You should really not get those sweets. They kill you. <laughs> and so do I. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, wait, no, that's Star Wars. <laughs> Surf and protect. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Yeah, half and half with these guys. It's mostly corrupt if individuals. Yep. The only real good one is Gordon. Yep, Gordon Freeman. No, not that Gordon. Are you actually using the concussion designator? I never. Never ever use it. I use well. I used it once, and then afterwards, I'm like, okay, this is pretty stupid. I rather do a battering to the face because nothing can beat a battering to the face, except for maybe two batterings to a face. Yeah, but that's not possible though, is it? I think so. I don't think you can use two batterings on one person. I know you can use it on multiple targets, but you can't well, use it on the bosses. Oh, yeah, of course, the bosses, because the bosses are a completely different story. Sometimes you have to hit them with multiple shit. Falcon Punch! Oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> Bad Punch! <laughs> Copyright. Trademark, <laughs> TM, trademark. He, he sharpies the TM mark on his fist. <laughs> trademark. Oh, this lips is still here. Oh, I remember you. Remember the time when I hung you over the clock, over the tree? Good times, good times. By the way, uh, Merry Christmas, by the way. Merry Christmas, and, uh... <laughs> oh, my arm! I'm sorry, but that would have killed a normal man. Yeah, right? Holy shit, Batman, you're brutal. Yeah, Chris Redfield, calm down. You know how strong Batman really is? How strong is he? Fucking strong, man. He, he's lifting a full-grown man off the ground with one hand by his throat without choking him. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is why Batman's a true hero of the DC universe. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> this time, there's no tree to get you. This time. Just vengeance. <laughs> oh, yeah, look, there's a tree. Should have thrown him on there. Merry Christmas, ass face. <laughs> <laughs> this is the part I was talking about. Oh, yes, I love this part. This part where, honestly, I was fighting these guys and one of their bodies go right through that window right there, the one that you're facing right now, and his head was, like, completely gone. It's crazy. I still have that picture to this very day. And I think I sent it to you one time, a long time ago, when this game first came out. That's how long ago it was. I don't even remember that picture. Oh well, yeah, because it was a very long Look time at that! Ago. I flip him over and kick him into a window! This game is, at the time we're recording it now, because when we first started, it was like in June. But now at this point, since the beginning of 2016, this game is two years old now. Damn. Surprised he didn't snap his spine. I'm pretty sure I just did. <laughs> I'm. Uh, he didn't hear that. He heard a. Yeah. Well. Well, he's never walking again. Yeah. Well, I bet if you go into your detecting mode, just say that he's unconscious. But then, if you look closely at the skeleton, it shows crack marks, the uh, spinal ruptures, bleeding out. <laughs> like, ooh. Uh. Oh. oh uh. Uh. I have the night. <laughs> Runs off. I am going to stab you in the face. That's what I get. I be racist. No, I just hate stupid people. Yeah. And when I yeah, this plank here. And when I did that, his body fell down. He still didn't have a head. <laughs> At that point, you killed him. <laughs> I, I don't care what that scanner says. You killed him. Oh, I... fun fact: Batman has in fact killed before. Killing is not his one. Is not killing is not his one rule. It's not using a gun to do it. Yeah. He's fine with killing people. In recent years, he's become more of the 
non-killing person. But no, originally in the comics, he actually killed people. He used to kill people with a gun. No. He did used to kill people with a gun. There was a point in time when Batman didn't have a gun. But then they stopped that. But at, but he has killed before without a gun, though. The only time he's ever broken this rule... Uh, there's only been one time he's ever broken this rule of the killing with a gun. But aside from that, everyone thinks that his rule is he will not kill. No, he will kill. If it just so happens to happen, it shit happens. That's all that he says. They are, you asshat! Who said that? Nothing! Come on, Barbara. I'll buy you an ice cream. <gasps> I say, Lee, love you, Daddy. <laughs> I love you, Daddy! Give me ice cream! <laughs> I get some every time. <laughs> I am Gordon. <laughs> Why can't I scan that? I was about to say, I'm pretty sure you need to approach that a little bit different if you're going to get in there. Just saying. 